Hi, it's me again, Madam Hana. Let's continue on step 2, design a solution. Previously, we successfully analyzed the problem by identifying input process and output. Now, I will show to you on how to write a pseudocode. Okay, so this is the basic concept of pseudocode. You need to write start and stop. Now, for the input here, we need to refer to the step 1. The difference is you'll be more specific by add a suitable verb to show that we need the user to enter a value of weight in kg and height in meter. But madam, I hate read. Can I replace read with other suitable verb? Yes, you can replace read with enter, insert or even input. Continue with the process. We know that we want to calculate BMI, so be more specific, write the formula of BMI in the pseudocode. For the output, be specific, choose a suitable verb to show that the output will be appear on the screen. So here, I choose display. Then, refer to the output in the step 1. So, we are going to display BMI and then we finish with the pseudocode. During the process, I always refer to the problem analyst to write the pseudocode here. So, you can see these two is related. Later, I will show to you the flowchart which is another algorithm but then represent using a graphic. Thank you.